Within a certain kingdom, the royal lineage always gave birth to twin pairs. One with flowing golden hair, and another with hair as silver as strands of thread. According to a legend passed down by a deity for hundreds of years. <clears throat> Subscribe to the Woe Fairy Tales channel. Oops, wrong script! Oh, about the royal twin pair. Only the golden child was considered the rightful heir. The silver children, like Sylvie, were considered surplus. Elder sister Chrysa was always treated more kindly than Sylvie. All the precious gold, a rarity, was seized to be used for the golden princess Chrysa. The silver princess wasn't treated with the same kindness. She was only allowed silver possessions. Deep within, she longed to be like her elder sister. Chrysa loved Sylvie, but couldn't pay much attention to her due to her royal duties. As a result, the Silver Princess felt increasingly isolated. On their 18th birthday, a grand celebration was held for the royal twin pair, with Chrysa as the protagonist, of course. The Silver Princess Sylvie was merely an unnamed guest, despite sharing the same birth date with her sister. Feeling dejected and alone, Sylvie left the celebration unnoticed. She found herself in the black market area without realizing how she got there. What's that? A golden ring? Shouldn't the royal family have confiscated all the gold? In the black market, you can find anything. It's quite expensive, my dear. Sylvie emptied her pockets to buy the ring. She had long wished for a golden item. <laughs> Unbeknownst to Sylvie, a golden spirit had been trapped in the ring for hundreds of years and she had inadvertently set it free. I've read your thoughts. I'll help you to become a golden huh? princess to repay you. Huh? No, don't! Who are you? I don't understand. It doesn't matter about whether you want to be a silver princess for life. Though doubtful, huh? the sweet persuasion moved Sylvie. Mm. Mm. With this magic, you must exchange something of your silver for it. Something I choose. Sylvie agreed without hesitation. Bathe with this potion. The potion turned Sylvie's bath into a magical tub. Huh? Unbeknownst to the Silver Princess, the potion also affected Chrysa. The magical bathtub changed. Not only Sylvie, <laughs> but also swap her hair color with her golden sister. Mm. Wow! <laughs> ah! The entire kingdom was shaken by this unprecedented event. Mm. Huh? In the huh? end, they followed the legend's huh? words and huh? made Sylvie the heir. Thus, Sylvie became the golden princess she had always dreamed of. <laughs> Living the luxurious <laughs> life she had yearned for. <laughs> Sylvie had never been happier. Now, wherever she went, 
Sylvie drew everyone's attention. <laughs> no one was indifferent as they were when she was the Silver Princess. She's so beautiful. Don't be too obvious. So it's okay for you to be obvious, huh? But Sylvie was unaware of the heavy responsibilities a golden princess bore. Sylvie? To become an heir, Sylvie needed to learn many things, but she struggled mm -hmm. to adapt quickly. Sylvie? Huh? <laughs> Sylvie? Huh? And she was often scolded by the king. Sylvie! How can you become an heir like this? Do you know that your sister? What about my sister? Of course, the day when Sylvie couldn't bear it anymore <clears throat> arrived. <clears throat> Utterly disillusioned, the princess left. Now, Sylvie just wanted to be alone. But she couldn't escape the attention of others. You made her scared. As if it isn't ye. Lost in thought, she wandered back to her old room, only to be greatly surprised huh? by the presence of her elder huh? sister. Huh? Sylvie, is that you? In the past, <laughs> Chrysa had been burdened by the responsibilities of an heir. <sighs> Becoming a silver princess had granted Chrysa the freedom to do whatever she pleased without oversight. But being a silver princess is very lonely. No one befriends me. I'm like a ghost. Huh? <sighs> now I understand how lonely you feel, and I didn't pay attention. <sighs> I'm sorry, Sylvie. No, I didn't know how much you struggled either. Huh? Congratulations, but now it's time to fulfill huh? the debt. The golden mm. spirit came to collect mm. what Sylvie had agreed upon. And what I want in return huh? is your silver huh? sister. What? How is that possible? It's a deal. Something of your silver and of my choosing. No! She's my sister! I won't! Don't defy the contract! The angry spirit transformed into a golden creature and pursued the sisters to demand what was owed. <laughs> and they were driven to the king's court. The golden creature easily overpowered any feeble resistance. Enough of this game! He was determined to claim the silver sister, Chrysa. It's my fault! If I hadn't been selfish, if I had cared about you... <laughs> Suddenly, Sylvie realized she still held the Golden Spirit's potion. As long as you're safe, I don't need this material possession! The demon couldn't take away something that wasn't part of the deal. Take me instead! Huh? Aren't you... aren't you in the royal lineage? Correct. I am Fergal, the first Golden Ruler and also the one who concocted the false legend. I was consumed mm. by my lust for power. Mm. When I passed mm. away, the God of Death punished me for my deception, and my soul was trapped within the Golden Ring. I can only be freed if a silver princess or prince touches the ring. <coughs> huh? Looking into Sylvie's mind, huh? I realized my mistake. I caused my descendants to suffer. That's why I orchestrated this play, so that you two could understand each other. Huh? Huh? So, the prophecy was a lie! Huh? Huh? I apologize. <clears throat> because of it, I made you suffer. I never understood you. <laughs> the Golden Spirit <laughs> redeemed his mistake and was able to transcend. The external appearance no longer mattered. There was no longer a golden princess or a silver princess. And Sylvie finally found what truly made her happy. Oh, wow.
guys, there's such a beautiful house at the bottom of the ocean. Turns out, it was the place where the beautiful mermaid Alma lived. She had the power of creating beautiful pearls, including a seven-color pearl which could allow the life to thrive. <laughs> she lived there with her aunt. Ah, Andrina, you're back! I bought you a gift which you will really love. Thank you! Andrina, I have something to ask you. Just say it. My birthday is coming. Could you please let me go out there for a while? No, absolutely no. You will not be allowed to get out of here without my permission. But I'm 17. I haven't get out of here even once. The world outside is really dangerous. You are not strong enough to protect yourself. I'll let you go out there when it's suitable. Huh? Festival? What is that? They invite all the mermaids? It means that there are also so many mermaids out there. They look so happy. But why aunt said that it was dangerous out there, or... Because of the curiosity, the next day, Alma decided mm -hmm. to sneak out of the house without letting Aunt Rina know. Following the instructions in the flyer, finally, she could reach the center of the ocean. <laughs> They're all mermaids like me? Their clothes are too beautiful! Alma created some pearls to pin on her clothes, for making them becoming more gorgeous. She even created a wreath of pearls to wear on her head, with a seven-color pearl as the highlight of the wreath. After being satisfied with the dress, she excitedly entered the city and went straight to the castle. The things inside that castle were even more <laughs> overwhelming to her. Suddenly, all the people moved aside. The queen arrogantly entered the castle from the outside. The oversized crown on her head was suddenly skewed down. A giggle was burst out, making the queen really angry. She immediately created a tornado to blow away the ones who had left at her. I'm Queen Melanie with the supreme power! I will protect the whole ocean! You all have to show the absolute respect to me! The ones who dare to laugh at me will be put into dark dungeon forever! Yes, yes my, my respected, respected queen. 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 That queen is so scary. I'll come back right after the party finishes. When the queen was comfortable on her throne, the party started. Everyone had fun and danced together. Alma also got into the enjoyable atmosphere of the party. But she didn't know that her seven-color pearl had made the queen pay attention to her. She silently ordered her people to go there and capture Alma. Hmm. <laughs> While she still enjoyed the party, thoughtlessly, surprisingly, a hand pulled her back into a dark corner. At that very moment, she realized that the guards were looking for her. Andrina! You were forbidden from swimming up here. Why didn't you listen to me? I just want to see the world outside. Quickly, come back with me. Huh? But why? Huh? Why didn't you let me go up here? Why did the queen want to capture me? Finally, who am I? If you don't let me know, I will never come back. With huh? Alma's determination, her aunt had to tell mm. her the truth. That's okay. I will tell you the truth. You are the daughter of the last queen. 
Queen Melanie is your real aunt. Despite mm. being sisters, your mother had the power of creating <laughs> Seven Color Pearl, which could help the ocean to maintain the lives. And Melanie could only create scary dark tornado. So the throne was given to your mother, and that thing made Melanie dissatisfied. On the day you were born, Taking advantage of your mother's weak health condition, Melanie took your mother away. <laughs> Luckily that day, I brought you out to prepare for the princess announcement ceremony so you could escape. Because your father is a human, so Melanie announced to everyone that your mother had taken you ashore to live with that man and left the kingdom behind. And she was the one who ruled the kingdom huh? for your mother. I knew that Melanie could never harm the queen because she still needed the seven color pearl to maintain the lives of the ocean. So I silently found your mother. Finally, I knew that your mother had been detained in a cave not far from here. But Melanie had ordered the electronic jellyfish to watch there. No creatures could approach it. And she always keeps the key of the gate on her necklace. We need to free my mother. Maybe we should start by taking that key. That night, the shadow of a mermaid <laughs> with a seven-color pearl gently swam across the palace, attracting the attention of the guards. Taking the chance, Alma quickly snuck into the castle. <laughs> Finally, she could find Melanie's bedroom. She still wore the key on her neck. Alma gently came closer to take it away. Suddenly, huh? Melanie woke up. I've been looking for you for so long. I didn't expect that today you stick your head into the oven that easy. You want to meet your mother as you wish. Huh? 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 Alma, quickly, uh... run away. Alma took the key and quickly <laughs> ran away from the palace. Following the instruction before, she immediately swam to the palace where her mother had been detained. Seeing the electronic jellyfish in front of her and the guards ferociously chasing after her, huh? Alma quickly came up with an idea to solve them. <laughs> Alma threw the pearls toward the jellyfish to attract their attention. <laughs> Seeing the intruder, the jellyfish immediately attacked her. She suddenly swam up quickly, mm -hmm. making the guards and the jellyfish glide and stick to each other. To make sure, <laughs> Alma even used the pearl to create some ropes to tie them up, making them not be able to escape. After defeating them, they quickly swam there to rescue her mother. Suddenly from behind, a source of power flew towards her. Then, Melanie crazily attacked Alma. <laughs> Alma used the seven color pearl to raise the coral, making them grow higher and higher to block the attack from her. <laughs> Being huh? too angry because she couldn't do anything to Alma, she used all of her power to create a great tornado with the ambition of blowing Alma away. When Alma was about to be sucked into the tornado, she saw the electronic jellyfish earlier were drifting right behind Melanie's back. Alma immediately controlled the pearl and pulled them towards her. She lost her balance and fell upon the tornado that she herself had created. After defeating Melanie, everything in the kingdom was back like it had been before. Alma then lived happily beside her mother, and of course, she didn't have to return to the bottom of the ocean anymore.